Sometimes a pattern comes along that is so unique and so lovely that it just makes your jaw drop. This stunning hem is pattern by Debbie Mage is truly a work of art and it's so beautiful I feel like it could be displayed in a museum. The design on the yoke is inspired by pottery. Don't you just love the designs, the geometric shapes, and the high contrast of the shades? I love how Debbie mimicked pottery designs with the black and the copper tones over the ivory. It is so striking. Knitting and pottery are both traditions that have been passed down through the generations. They're both crafts that served both a function while also providing beauty to people's lives. Through the process of knitting, you were able to clothe your family and keep them warm with blankets and clothes and other household items. And when making pottery, you knew that the plates and bowls and vessels that you were making would allow your family to be fed and nourished and taken care of. So it is so amazing to honor both of these beloved traditions in this one stunning design. And I love the attention to detail on this sweater. The little rolled edging adds such a beautiful touch. And another cool thing to note, this pattern has instructions for making fitted, puffy, or straight sleeves. So you get to choose the one that works best for you. To get these striking colors and the smooth, delicious feel, we used our beloved hand-dyed Dewey DK yarn. This yarn base is so beloved and we've had a ton of patterns on this base. So we will link below to those if you would love to see more gorgeousness. You can get this yarn and download the pattern at expressionfiberarts.com and while you're there be sure to sign up for email updates for weekly free knit and crochet patterns so i'm going to be giving some of this yarn away just make sure you're subscribed to our youtube channel and go ahead and comment below and let us know in addition to knitting and pottery what other crafts you love i'm going to choose someone in a few weeks and we're going to send you the yarn that you need to make the sweater in your size when making this sweater, there are a few techniques that will help you out, so I would love to show you how to do those. The cable cast on is a great cast on when you want a nice, flexible start to your project without it stretching out over time. To work the cable cast on, you're gonna go ahead and start with a slip knot and just pop that onto your needle. Go ahead and grab your other needle. And we're gonna begin our first cast on stitch by actually working a knitted cast on. So go ahead and insert your right needle as if you were knitting that stitch. Just pull up your yarn through that, then line your needles up perpendicular so that your stitch is positioned correctly on your left needle and slide that off. So that's actually a knitted cast on. Now to work the cable cast on for the remainder, you're gonna insert your needle between those stitches, grab the yarn, and just pull that through. And same thing, line your needles up perpendicularly and slide that stitch on and continue doing that. Insert your needle between those two stitches and pull up the yarn. Slide it on and boom. And it really is as simple as that. Just cast on however many stitches the pattern calls for. You're also gonna to need to know how to work German short rows for this pattern, which you know I love. They're so easy to work. They allow you to work part of a row, turn around and work back so you can create shaping in your knitting. So to get started with our German cast on, you're just gonna go ahead and knit across to the stitch where you want to stop and turn. So I'll go ahead and stop here. So then what you do is turn and you're gonna slip the stitch over towards your right needle. So just grab this first stitch off your left needle, move it onto your right needle. Now here's what you do. You're gonna go ahead and lift up your yarn, pull it up and over. So this is something you normally would never do in knitting because you're actually creating two stitches here out of that one, but you do want to do this on this technique. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring our yarn to the front and you're just gonna purl. So just follow the pattern instructions. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you on this same row what to do if you are purling. So go ahead and purl to the stitch where you want to stop and go ahead and turn. Then you're gonna pull your yarn forward and you're gonna slip that stitch to your right needle. And then you're gonna do the same thing. Go ahead and lift your yarn up and over and it looks a little different when you've done it this way. It kind of 
looks like it's crossed. So then it's super simple. We're just gonna go ahead and knit back. And when you come to the stitches, that you lifted up, you're just gonna knit them together. So here's that funny looking stitch. Super easy, just knit those together. And you can continue knitting across the rest of your row. And then on the other side, whenever you come to the stitches that you crossed, or those little crossed stitches, when you're working a purl row, it's the same thing. Go ahead and work your stitches until you reach that part. So I'm just gonna purl all the way across till I reach that. Then here you are and it's the same thing. You're just going to purl those together as if they were just one stitch. So just purl and continue your row. It's very, very easy. And you can see how we're already starting to get a little bit of shape in our knitting. Another technique that you're gonna find very helpful for this pattern is jogless knitting. So when you're knitting any kind of stripes or color changes in your knitting, you're actually knitting a spiral when you're working in the round and your colors are gonna be misaligned. So I'm gonna show you a very easy technique to prevent that from happening. So as an example, I have a little striped project here and you can see there are no visible jogs when you look around. So here's what you do. I've knitted a round in the red, I've knitted a round in the blue and I'm coming around now and what I'm gonna actually do is stop when I'm three stitches before the blue. And I'm just gonna go ahead and slip those three red stitches onto my right needle. Drop the blue, pick up the red, and then I'm gonna knit around in the red and I'll show you what we do when we come back around. So I'm continuing knitting around in the red and we're actually gonna do the same thing. And we're gonna repeat this for every round. When you are three stitches before the same color that you're working, you go ahead and stop and you slip those next three stitches. Boop, boop, and boop. Drop the color you're working, pick up the other color, and continue knitting. So just repeat that round after round and that will help to smooth out your jogs. And you can see when looking at the project, there are no visible jogs. It's just a nice little stripey project. With those techniques, you are set to knit this sweater. So enjoy knitting this work of art sweater design. I'm sure when you wear it, you're gonna get so many compliments. It'll remind you of the generations past that have perfected these crafts that give us so much joy today. Happy knitting, beautiful friend. I will catch you in the next video with another scrumptious pattern. Bye.